What is up, everybody? Um, back with another video, man. And today, bro, we're gonna be reacting to fellas. You you can never be too careful by the boy Daifo. Let's get into it. Thinking about destroying you always. Findom. Thinking about destroying shit talkers with the Fire Jack 12 and Modern Warfare S and D right before they rage quit. Always, fellas, you all know what comes next. Please stand. Yeah, that will, that will, yeah, bro. Never comment something like that ever again, bro. Keep it a for stack. the national anthem. Hey, but never the national anthem. All right, fellas, welcome back. Another week has passed here on the internet, and as per the usual arrangement, there is no shortage of stupid things to make fun of out here. We've got a multi-topic video today. Mm. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Lots to talk about, lots to unpack, so let's just get right into it, man. If you're new, make sure you subscribe right now, or else you have a very, very high chance of having a small dick. Also, turn on your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. And last but not least, of course, Watch the entire video. Don't be a bitch. All right, fellas. First thing I want to do in this video is give a shout out to this guy right here who tweeted me this on the Bird app. Make sure you're following me on the Bird app, by the way, because I can assure you that we are always clowning on people over best on the social, Bird app. Best But this crazy motherfucker, this mad lad here, tweeted me a picture of his car with a giant decal of my logo on it. This guy got it made on his own. I don't even sell these, okay? A lot of you guys on Twitter were asking me, where can I get one? I don't know. You gotta go make one on your own. So shout out to you, dude. You're a real one. I hope you're seeing this video. If you see this dude driving around, it, make sure you dab him up because he's a fellow alpha male. Anyway, as a lot of you guys know out there, I am a married man and I get a lot of DMs on Twitter saying things like, this bitch cheated on me, that bitch cheated on me. How will I know when I've actually found the one? How do you know when you've met your future wife? One thing I've often told people when I get asked this, if you gotta make sure that you're talking to a girl who actually has goals and career aspirations. Someone that doesn't wanna grow up to be a fucking nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if she takes her career seriously, then she probably takes her future seriously and is probably not looking to screw around with somebody that she's not gonna end up with long term. Well, then I saw this story on the Bird app, and fellas, let me just warn ya, you can never be too careful. So we've got a profile here on a prominent business website that I'm sure you all have heard of before. We're not gonna give out full details on this story because this we're not trying to dox anyone, you know, we're not trying to go after anyone in real life. This is more so for educational purposes. Anyway, Jessica, head of institutional lending at Redacted. Jessica manages a book of 300 million in crypto assets that have resulted in 2.2 billion in loans. After being hired as a marketing assistant by Redacted, she quickly proved herself as much more by helping build the Bitcoin lending firm's back office. So you'd see something like this and you'd say, wow, that's pretty impressive, right? She's young, hot, successful, getting featured in prominent business magazines, probably pretty desirable to take out on a date. Well, then I saw this link that was attached to the screenshot. This is a movie from a couple of years prior called Interview and Blank with 20-year-old Jessica. Cool, how old are you? I'm 20, turning nice. 21. Nice. A few months. What kind of video is this, bro? Big 2-1. Yeah. You start drinking? Or do oh, you stop, drink? drinking. Stop. <laughs> stop drinking. Stop drinking, because... Oh, been drinking too long. Um, are you in school right now? Or are you? Uh... Yeah, I'm a junior in college. Nice. What are you studying? Um, business marketing, I think. <laughs> marketing and finance. Now look, I'm not saying that this is the same person. This is just a meme I found on the internet, but it would add up, right? There's, there's a lot of things about this that would make sense. It surely looks like the same person. She said she was studying the same fields that she now works in. Plus, the video was removed on several websites. I had to do some digging to find it, but don't worry. I, I did all the research <laughs> possible to bring the video to you guys. And, and honestly, the video itself is kind of trash. So if you were in, in a relationship right now and say you had a boyfriend, what do you think he would say about you doing this? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> that's so. that's a really tough one. Right. I don't think if... I don't think I would have told him. Fellas, you can never be too careful. Always do some background checks. <laughs> you may be horrified at what you find out there. 
I think I found one of the only men on planet Earth that needs to be sentenced to horny jail for the term of life without parole. Someone tagged me in this on Twitter. Once again, Twitter. It's always Twitter, I swear, yep, man. Yep. The bird app never ceases to disappoint. But anyway, this dude was out here talking about they finally came in and he's got a picture of three lights underneath. Yeah, you could get lights that are made by your favorite stars, your favorite actresses out there. So this oh man's got God. three different lights out here from Kimmy Granger, Abella Danger, and Mia Malkova. Look, dudes, as I'm sure you could guess, their reply to this tweet were absolutely savage but let me just say this okay no one had to know about this you could have just gone on your business had your new lights come in the mail you know and, yeah. and just shine them around your room in peace by yourself the internet didn't have to know you didn't have to drop it on the timeline but like low-key though hold on let me just make sure no one's around real quick uh post clear yeah low-key like if you had to pick one which one are you picking Anyway, let's clown on someone who is a parent not who that. probably shouldn't be. Hi there, my name is Sarah. This little cutie is my son Bennett. As you can see, my son is a white male. So here are some books that I bought to help prevent him from growing up to be awful. Imagine looking at a sweet little newborn baby, your baby, by the way, and just thinking, yeah, he, he's probably destined to grow up to be awful. Un fucking believable. Starting out strong, we have C is for consent. Um, pretty self-explanatory, but it's a picture book that goes. Oh, brother, brother! Oh my God! Can we? Can we? Can we not, bro? He's literally, he, he's literally a newborn, bro. Literally a newborn. Goes into detail about consent with your body, with family. Along that same note, we have Will Ladybug Hug, teaches the same kind of concept and in a more childish way about a ladybug who um, is hugging his friends, even has one friend who doesn't like hugging. How funny would it be if Bennett just grew up to be like, Mom, I, I don't want to hug you. I don't want you to hug me. I no longer consent to you hugging or touching me, Mom. That feeling where you get too fucking woke for your own mom, the irony <laughs> would be so good. This one is called Only For Me. Also, same concept, teaching kids about consent and things that feel comfortable with their bodies. Because I'm raising a feminist, we've got A is for awesome, 23 inspirational women. Next we have I clean- Oh, brother. Bro, this is why certain people should not be parents, bro. <laughs> like daddy, there's even a page in the end where the whole family is cleaning together to show that it's not just mom and sister's job. Finally- Oh, brother. <laughs> oh. We have, except when they don't, a book about um, boys and girls liking whatever they want regardless of their gender. Ma'am, I regret to inform you that this is a Wendy's and as the late, great Propecia the Crack host said, Who gives a fuck? Um, I mean, really, what? can you imagine reading this um, woke fucking garbage to your kids? I mean, why do you need books to teach your kids these lessons? It's not even that the messaging behind the books is necessarily bad. It's the aggressive nature in which the mom is just gonna shove it down the kid's throat which i feel bad for him for i really do i mean she's out here saying bullshit like because i'm raising a feminist how do you know he's gonna be a feminist why don't you let him grow up to be a feminist if he chooses to do so instead of trying to force it having a child is not something you do to get clout on tiktok all right it's a life-changing <laughs> responsibility and you should let kids be kids in the process i mean this kid is a baby it's a newborn baby for crying out loud i could see if you're three four five years old you're in preschool kindergarten whatever and now your child faces scenarios in which other kids might not want to be touched all right i get that but to go ahead and make the assumption that your kid is just going to be this awful monster because he's a white male from birth pretty astonishing really i didn't see a dad in this video either i wonder why also <laughs> why is the women's book only 23 inspirational women did anyone pick up on that like 23 is such an obscure number you know what i mean did they have to scrounge for that number i could probably name more than 23 inspirational women i think i'm more woke than the author of this fucking book <laughs> and finally our last topic of the day let's talk about what's going on with twitch and the hot tub meta so this has been a hot topic for a while. I did a video a couple of weeks back. There have been some new developments and updates, so let's go over it here. So the first thing that happened, Twitch came out and actually acknowledged this. They put out some kind of video or it was some live stream or something like that where they basically just said, we're watching the situation closely, aka we ain't going to do shit. And then a couple more days passed and then 
Queen Amaranth, the number one hot tub streamer on Twitch. She might actually be the number one female streamer overall on Twitch right now, actually. But she came out with this Twitter thread and it said that she's been completely demonetized on Twitch just as far as ads go. So I guess advertisers complained because they don't want to put their logo on a woman who's showing her tits and ass to little kids in a pool <laughs> in her living room. Understandable. So as funny as it is to clown on that, there is one part, there's a little catch that I don't really like about it. And that is that she claims she was never notified that she was going to lose her ads. So as a content creator myself, if you want to call me that, I don't really like that term. It's kind of kind of kind of bullshit but for lack of a better term as a content creator myself that is a little bit concerning everyone knows these platforms can demonetize you at any time for any reason but when you see it happen to one of the biggest people in the scene it makes you think shit what is preventing this from happening to me at the same time it's also kind of like welcome to the life of a youtuber because we deal with this shit on a regular basis and youtube doesn't tell us that we're demonetized until it's too late. We don't get a warning or anything like that. We don't even get a notification. You'll just go look at the video one day. It could be an old video from last year and you'll see the yellow on it. Like what the, when the fuck did this happen? So even though I don't really support the act of demonetizing people out of nowhere, at the same time, girl, welcome to life not on easy mode. Welcome to playing on the same difficulty that the rest of us are playing on. She knew exactly what she was doing the entire time. I think she knew it was only a matter of time. So now as of even more recently, Recently, the latest development in the story is that she actually got her ads back, but at a very, very reduced rate. So before she revealed this all online, by the way, this is crazy. So before getting demonetized, she was making a half a million dollars a year just on Twitch ads. What? What? What am I doing wrong, bro? Just off Twitch ads, so no subscriptions. No donations, just off Twitch ads. That is insane. That doesn't include subs. That doesn't That's include donations. Saying, bro. That doesn't include cheers or whatever the fuck you can do. I don't even know how Twitch works. I really don't. And I don't care. Anyway, the reduced rate now translates to somewhere around only $48,000 a year. Oh, my God. A oh normal my. person's salary. God oh forbid. God. Yeah, I would be on oh God. I would be mad. I would be bro. 500k to 48k oh my God. obviously it is a massive reduction but again for somebody who's a multi-millionaire i just simply find it so hard to care about this really she's filthy rich she makes millions upon millions of dollars a year on only fans just alone and twitch ads were nowhere near her top source of revenue so in principle could it be bad for smaller creators at some point down the line yeah do i care or am i concerned that amaranth might go broke <laughs> absolutely not well, fellas, that's about enough internet for the day. That was a lot to unpack. It really was. So you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as per the usual. And I look forward to reading your comments as always. If you enjoyed the video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing videos just like this. Turn your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. A special thank you to my channel members as always for your extra support. It's very much appreciated. Check out Defy Merch, Twitter, Twitch, my second channel. Links to all that stuff is down below. And I will see you dudes in the next video. Love you. Bye. Stay safe, fellas. With that being said, bro, that's going to be the end of this video. Bro, like, comment, and subscribe. And we out here, guys.